I think it's the opposite of that, though. Yeah. Your meme, your dreams can become memes, yeah. or vice versa. But here we go to Young Link. So this, Young this Link. Okay, interesting. Yeah, again, so this is going to be really interesting. You know, Wolf does have the reflector, but Young Link's just so fast and quick that he probably won't have enough time to pull it out. Here we go, just a lot of bread and butter combos from both players. Here we go with Charlie the King opening up with a quick string right there. Already he's at 60% almost off of just one fair. Yeah, Charlie is so good at off the hit in all of the Smash games he plays. I mean, putting on so much damage early in the set just off of a few openings. Right, I feel like Charlie is one of the best Wolf players in terms of like getting his combos like on point. And just like that, he scoops them up with the up smash right there. Yeah, Kairos uh, needs to come up with something quick because Charlie is just putting up so much damage. He's running away with his set. Right. And I love what Charlie's doing. He's just making sure that Kairos doesn't have any room to breathe. You no, know, if he drifts in, he's going to get hit by the fair. If he just lands in front of him, he's going to get hit by the forward tilt. So he has to be super on point with his spacing if he wants to hope to get any leeway. And, but just like that, he gets scooped up again. Yeah, we saw Kiros kind of put out a bomb there, just just stifle Charlie's uh, angle of approach, but he still managed to find a way in and close out that stock. Up the outer shield, going to give Kiros just a quick respite. Right. Ooh, barely shielding that, but the back throw. And that's the one thing that's like kind of bad about Young Link as opposed to the other links. At least the other links, they have kill throws. Young Link doesn't have any oh. such thing, but you know what? Who needs a kill throw when you have that dare that kills stupid early? Well, he caught that almost halfway up the stage. Oh. And I've seen that Charlie get that so many times. He has that on lock right there, the dash cancel back air, or fair into dash cancel back air. And yet again, you know, Charlie is just really, really on point. And that was such an amazingly quick game from Charlie. I feel like Kuros is just going to have to really step up his game if he wants to potentially bring it to a game three. Yeah, I wonder if he'll see a switch, switch from him. As, he's, as you said, I don't think Young Link is the main because I think I saw him on stream earlier playing a different character. I'm just trying to remember who exactly it was. Um, maybe a, a change of controls is in order right. or they're just dis discussing a different stage. Right. Uh, I, I, or it might be uh, controller interference, you know. Oh, yeah, I see it sort of slipping off to the side there. Yeah. It's like. Uh, there we go, looks like, like they fixed it. That's good. You know, you hate to have that kind of stuff happen, in, uh, right. especially on stream, because I feel like there's already a level of nervousness that comes into effect of that and then something not working it can be <laughs> a little frustrating oh yes but here we go just choosing to run it back now here we go to oh, game he's, two he's, heroes is powering up here with the dark link i don't know if the power of darkness will help you save him from the bounty hunter but we'll see the bounty hunter or mercenary he's a bounty hunter if i remember correctly I, I think like they're all bounty hunters except like wolves, like like Fox and Falco. They're they're they're, they're definitely mercenaries. They're mercenaries, yeah, or, or something like that. But Wolf is definitely a bounty hunter because he, he's with like Snake and um, Samus in that regard. Well, pulls the trigger on that down smash just a little too early, but uh, w looks like we're seeing a, a repeat of the first game. Kairos needs to make something happen pretty soon, but he's starting to tack on some damage here. This may not be over for him. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, already he's off to a better start than game one. You know, I feel like he's not falling into as many of these setups as Charlie the King would like. But, again, as long as he can hold on to his stock and gets the bomb, but okay. and just get a fourth throw, he's off stage, yeah. and this is where you need to capitalize on where Wolf cannot really get back to stage. Well, but here we go. Boomerang to up B will take out the stock right there. And Kiros has got some great uh, edge guards uh, and ledge trap setups going on here. Uh, I, we didn't see that much of many of them last game because uh, Charlie was just all over him. Much like that with the spike just going out there and getting him. But if uh, Heroes can manage to get Charlie off the stage, I think we're going to see a completely different game here. Right. I know both players are kind of just looking for their single hit combo starter. And there we go with the first hit of back air into the combo. Tried sniping out the jump with the arrow, but not going to be able to hit its mark. And Yet again, Charlie able to get uh, center stage right here, but 
just as I say that, he just gets comboed by that up smash. To that up smash. That big hitbox there. Great anti air. Here we go. Both players kind of just bobbing and weaving around each other. And that's a, one of the interesting reactions that because the laser is an energy projectile, they kind of like trade like neutral bees, essentially. Yeah, I believe. I believe Wolf's is a little faster though, so it's more beneficial to him. But uh, making that blaster a great tool against. Right. Ooh, I love that, just waiting for the get up option and punishing it with an up air. And suddenly we have heroes for the lead here. That's the whole stock lead, I, I should say. Well, Kiro's doing extremely well for himself this game, like, really found his. Uh, movement and pacing within the matchup. You know? Charlie just lo lets go of shields too early. Maybe he's letting it get into his head a little bit because he's just falling into all of these traps that Kiros has set up. There's the quick nair, here's the edge guard. And, oh, I, I love the plan right there. Because the plan was to reflect the boomerang and so that it would hit Kiros on the way back when it came back to him. But unfortunately, the boomerang was going in for low and it went through the platform and through the stadium and avoided uh, the reflector entirely. Yeah, the reflector has some odd properties in that if it's a projectile that faces forward, it towards you, you'll knock it back. A nice F tilt there, trapping the edge. But if it's facing away from you or coming back with a boomerang, it actually continues on the same trajectory. Right. Uh, Here we so. go. Now this is Kyrus's game to lose at this point. Now he's at 132, but yet again, no kill throws means that he's gonna have to work a little bit harder to find this kill. Yeah, he just needs a few more openings. Charlie is very high at percent right now, but I mean, get that combo right there. It was huge for him. Yeah, you know he's looking for that fair side B. But here's the rapid jab. Gets punished with the grab. Uh, not the worst thing in the world okay, for Heroes he right there. This is the timing just a little bit with the... No. Oh. No. He do He was at like 70-something, oh, 70, 70-80. No. Oh, my God. No. Oh, that, that's so unfortunate for Heroes. He, he had that game, and Charlie just said, no, I'm not going to let you steal this game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back air, and it's going to hit you. Yeah, Charlie just kind of sliding into that back air. He, yeah. again, using that attack canceled back air to just throw it out so quickly. Yeah. Karras didn't know what hit him, except in this game when it goes to last stock, it freezes for